Here we're just going to look at two examples of some application problems that involve multiplication. The first one says if it takes two and one quarter cups of flour to make a loaf of bread, how much flour does it take to make six loaves? So we understand how much it takes us to make one, but we want to uh, make six, and so that means we got to multiply how much flour it took to make one loaf by six. So we'll just simply have two and one quarter times six. Now we understand that when we um, are multiplying um, by mixed numbers, the mixed numbers have to turn to improper fractions. So two times four is eight plus one is nine, so it's nine fourths. And then if we're multiplying by a whole number and we have a fraction involved, we better turn that whole number into a fraction, which we do by making that 6 over 1. And so we look to see any pre-reducing that can be done, and we can see that 4 and 6 share a common factor of 2, so 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so 9 times 3 is 27. 2 times 1 is 2. And so, of course, this is uh, the correct improper fraction, but it's not a very good way to answer the question, right? Um, you, this is a real-world problem, so it should be answered as a mixed number. So we're going to go ahead and convert it back into a mixed number. And we end up with 13 and a half cups of flour. Another example here, it says use the formula 1 half b times h to find the area of the following triangle. So um, if you haven't had much experience with triangles, the base is going to be this 6 right here, and the height is the 2 and 1 third feet here. So when it gives us this formula, we understand we can calculate area by just saying area equals 1 half, and remember letters and numbers just sitting next to each other mean multiplication. 1 half times 6 times 2 and 1 third. We know the 6 should be turned into a fraction by making it 6 over 1, and 2 and 1 third needs to be turned into an improper fraction. So we can see here that 2 and 6 share a 2 in common, so 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then we now can take this 3 and this 3, divide top and bottom by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And so the only thing left on top is that 7, so 1 times 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and so of course we don't leave the answer this way. We say that our area is just 7, and remember when we're talking area, it's not just feet, it is square feet.